President, uh, I, I rise today along with uh, my colleague from South Dakota, Senator Johnson, to commemorate South Dakota's 125th anniversary of statehood. 125 years ago, on November the 2nd, 1889, President Benjamin Harrison shuffled the act of admission papers for North and South Dakota to ensure that no one knew which state entered the Union first. To this day, we still don't know which act President Harrison signed first. Mr. President, South Dakota is perhaps best known as the home of the Shrine of Democracy at Mount Rushmore, which opened to the public just 50 years after South Dakota attained statehood. This monument captures the way of life and governance structure that we have in South Dakota. Our elected officials take the concerns of their constituents to peer and ensure that our state is bettering the lives of its citizens in a fiscally responsible manner. We believe in limited government, which provides room for individuals and businesses to grow and to thrive. Our model of free enterprise has allowed businesses to flourish in South Dakota and has resulted in one of the best states in the country to start a business. We consistently have one of the lowest unemployment rates in the country, which is currently at 3.7 percent. Our labor force and our economy are driven by our state's top industries of tourism and agriculture. The 28,000 South Dakotans who work in our tourism industry ensure that people from all over the world enjoy our great places. Tourists enjoy visiting Mount Rushmore, of course, but also seeing the sights throughout the Black Hills and the Badlands, the Corn Palace in Mitchell, South Dakota, Crazy Horse Memorial in the falls in Sioux Falls. In addition to welcoming Americans from coast to coast, South Dakota is feeding our nation and our world. Each year, one South Dakota farmer produces enough food to feed 155 people. South Dakota ranks in the top 10 states for wheat, corn, soybeans, alfalfa, and sunflowers. We're also in the top 10 states for production of bison, honey, sheep, and beef. In all, South Dakota's agriculture industry contributes $26 billion annually to our economy. Mr. President, while the productivity of our farmers and ranchers is unmatched, all hardworking South Dakota families contribute to our state's success. Whether they're educating our children, serving in our growing health care and financial services sectors, conducting research in our college laboratories, hard work is what binds South Dakotans together and has made our state's experiment in democracy one of the most successful in our nation's history. Mr. President, I'm proud to call the great state of South Dakota home, and I'm honored to have the privilege of serving all South Dakotans here in the United States Senate. Mr. President, today I'd like to honor the spirit that has endured our state, endured in our state for the last 125 years by celebrating this special anniversary. So, Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent that the Senate proceed to the consideration of Senate Resolution 566, which was submitted earlier today. Clerk report. The Senator from South Dakota, Mr. Thune. Oh, SRES 566, celebrating the 125th anniversary of the state of South Dakota. Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent the resolution be agreed to, the preamble be agreed to, the motion to reconsider be laid upon the table with no intervening action or debate. Without objection, the Senate will proceed to the measure. Without objection. No objection. Thank you, Mr. President.